Okay, so we are getting ready to do another timing chain job in this Audi A4 2015 uh, 2.0 TFSI turbocharged. Timing chain is elongated, as you could see on that report from BCDS. So that's at six degrees, which is incredibly out of spec. So we're gonna go ahead and do the timing chain job. What do we need for that? We need uh, uh, the upgraded kit. I do not like the Audi parts because they are bad. Timing chains stretch, tensioners are bad, so we go with a with an updated, upgraded kit. And the main difference with that kit is the chain design number one. As you can see, the links are a little bit sturdier. They come in like in sets of two links. You can see that together in here, so that makes uh, make the, tain, the chain uh, stronger. Uh, the tensioners are also better with this kit. The tensioners, as you know, if you had done your research, the issue with the timing chains is that the tensioners don't keep the tension properly right, and then the timing chain has a weak um, design also. So this also has the upper timing cover, the lower timing cover, um, and then this is a fascinating to me. This is the camshaft bracket. We use this Dorman upgraded part. I'll put the part number in the comments in there. This is Dorman. And the main difference here is that this little mesh in here that always breaks is, is um, this one on this part is actually um, laser gray engraved so it's a lot better it's not gonna uh, pop off the, the screens on the regular um, brackets so here we go let's get started all right so we are at a point where the fun begins in here so we have removed the front end as you can see all the lines are disconnected coolant is um, empty the whole thing so now we can see the actual um, timing chain mechanism in here so you can see the, the guides the actual chain Brockets for the variable system, intake exhaust. And what I wanted to show you is a couple of things. Number one, the tensioner. It's absolutely horrendous. It has failed. Should be three or four uh, notches visible in here. We have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's completely gone. So this tensioner in here, as it fails, it um, does not exert enough pressure on this chain and then that causes the chain to actually elongate. This is the chain, you can see it in here. The job of the chain is to keep the camshafts with the crankshaft in sync. So if it elongates, you're done. So the other thing that I wanna point out is that we do not use uh, an OEM Audi chain for this repair. You're gonna say, why? No, you want an Audi part. No, you don't. The reason is that the design on the updated kit is different. You see the two links in there? That makes the chain a lot sturdier, a lot um, stronger, so it does not stretch over time. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna let you see the difference between the difference in length between these two, so you see what, uh, what the problem really is. Here we have the two chains. Right one is the old chain, left one is a new chain. As you can see in there, it's clearly elongated. And then you see the left chain also has a new updated design with two links versus just one. So that's what an Audi 2.0 four-cylinder elongated chain looks like. Of course, all the guides get changed, the chain itself gets changed, uh, and all the other components that you um, saw in the kit. The other important thing in here is the camshaft bridge. Let me show that to you in a second. So this is a camshaft bridge. Um, this always happens, this little screen in there, as you can see, completely destroyed that allows oil to go through at a much higher pressure than it was designed to be, causing problems in the systems in the vehicle and the variable timing system as well. So this piece is gonna get changed with the one that I showed you that is a much better design, laser etch, versus this one, which is like a pitch is welded. So there you go. So now that the job is complete, I'm showing you what the measurements using Rostec VCDS product is. So what we're measuring here is the difference between the commanded uh, position of the camshaft from the computer and the actual position of the camshaft. In this uh, screenshot, you can see that that is minus 6.26 degrees, which is way too high. Should be plus minus 2% as close to zero as possible. And now this is the after repair measurement, same thing with VCDS, same measurements, uh, and that's 0.25%. So that's uh, the sign of a timing chain job well done um, on this uh, 2.0 TFSI turbocharged engine. Uh, if you wanted to have it well done, please come and see us, send us a text, email, or call us. We'll be happy to do it for you. Thanks.